Hello again, we're May 20th at Dos Lagos Vineyards with Tom and Marcy Dinkle. And Tom, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what we've been up to lately? Well, um, so today in the vineyard, or actually yesterday in the vineyard, we moved the um, support wires from down low up to a little bit higher. And what we're trying to do is pull the canes up and the, uh, uh, the shoots up so that they don't uh, get lost in the wind. Um, if you look at this vine over here, you can see how the, the shoots are blowing around a little bit. So we'll have some tomorrow. Hello. Oh, that was a gust. Yeah, we got a little gust of wind going on. So what happens with the big gusts is that sometimes it can grab a hold of these shoots and uh, actually tear them off the vines. And so tomorrow we'll do some tucking and get these uh, get these shoots up under the uh, under the support wires um, so they don't get knocked off. You'll also notice in here that we're starting to get a little bit of bloom. And so this is when the uh, uh, the little the little berries that uh, the little clusters um, start to blossom, and it smells so sweet. You just can't believe how what a wonderful little uh, smell it is. Um, almost an orange uh, essence kind of a kind of a smell. Um, and they'll bloom for a little bit and then the berries will set. Once we get fruit set, we'll have a better idea about um, how damaging the frost was this year and uh, what sort of a crop we're going to have this year. So and I'd like to say one thing though, um, even if there has been frost damage, it's not going to affect the quality of the grapes or the flavor. Yeah, no, right, that's true. The, um, the frost damage will affect the quantity of the grapes, um, mm -hmm. but the grapes that are left, we're going to uh, work real hard through the season to be sure that we keep the quality up. Um, we'll drop a lot of uh, a, a lot of fruit to be sure the vine pushes all the nutrients and flavors into that uh, into those clusters that are left, um, and we may have to harvest a few times. We may make two or three passes through the vineyard to harvest the right grapes at the right time, um, but we're going to have great quality. So that's it from uh, from uh, Dos Lagos Vineyard on Atlas Peak, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Take care.